Same iPhone, but the one on the right is fast to respond, while the one on the left is sluggish. The difference is battery performance. The iPhone on the right is a new model, while on the left is an older model. Apple's so-called battery gate erupted in 2017 when Apple's software updates intentionally caused the lowering of battery performances on its devices. The scandal caused an uproar all across the globe, with consumers in places like South Korea taking the tech giant to court. In 2018, 63,000 local iPhone users filed a class action suit against Apple, demanding compensation worth 200,000 won per each plaintiff over the intentional slowdown. The lawsuit is worth $9.62 million. The lower court ruled against consumers, citing a lack of evidence to back up claims made by the plaintiffs, and rejected the argument that they suffered monetary losses. Apple settled similar cases out of court in U.S. and Chile. While most that took part in the class action suit were disheartened by the ruling and decided not to proceed further, seven appealed the ruling. Apple at court orders Apple to pay 70,000 won to each plaintiff. The ruling is based on the fact that Apple did not adequately explain to users that they could choose to install the upgrade software. The bench, however, only awarded plaintiffs for emotional stress and not monetary losses. Lawyers for the plaintiffs said that while various trials are underway, the South Korean ruling is the first case where the court ordered Apple to pay reparations. 아주 소수의 사람들에 대해서만 지금 배상 판결이 이루어진 것이거든요. 그래서 소비자 피해의 경우에도 집단 소송이 가능하도록. In the U.S. and some other countries, class action suits apply to everyone with the same complaint, while in South Korea, only those who filed the lawsuit can benefit from a ruling. Meanwhile, Apple will decide whether or not to take the matter to the Supreme Court.